Hello guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Uh, now we are going to solve this problem which says that for a short period of time, the frictional driving force acting on the wheels of the 2.5 megagram vane is 600 into t squared, where t is in seconds. If the vane has a speed of 20 km per hour, when t equals to 0, determine its speeds when t equals to 5 seconds. So first of all, we are given that the mass of the car is 2.5 megagram. So this is 2.5 mega means 10 raised to the power 6 grams. And if we want to convert it into kgs, then we can say that 1 kg is 10 raised to the power 3 grams. So uh, if we divide this, so we will get 2.5. This will be... 10 raised to the power 6 will become 10 raised to the power 3 and 2.5 into 10 raised to the power 3 gives us 2500 kgs. So the mass in kgs is 2500. Now it is said that the car has an initial velocity of 20 km per hour. So initially the car is when t equals to 0 the velocity v1 is 20 km per hour. So let us convert this velocity into meter per hour. So this is uh, meter per second. So this is 20 kilometer per hour. And as we know that one kilometer, this is equal to thousand meters. And one hour is 3600 seconds. So this will cancel out. And this will cancel out and we'll be left with meter per second. So this is when we multiply 20 with thousand, 20 multiplied by 1000 divided by 3600, this gives us 0 0.556, 0 0.556 meter per second. So this is V1 in meter per second. Now, uh, since we want to find V2 in T equals to 5 seconds, so we have to apply the uh, principle of momentum, right? So the principle of momentum is m1, uh, mv1 plus the impulse due to the external force. So the external force is the drag force. Uh, that, that is the frictional force. So we will write fd into dt and this will be equal to the final momentum which is mass times v2. So the mass is 2500, 2500 this is not uh, 0 0.55, this is 20 multiplied by 1000. This gives us 5.55, right? So in calculator, we have done mistake. So this is 5.55 meter per second. So this is 2500 into 5.55 plus the Drake force is 600 T square dt and the integration is from 0 to 5 seconds. The initial velocity is at 0 seconds and the final time is 5 seconds. So we want to integrate it from 0 to 5 and this is 2500 and v2. We have to determine that v2. So this is 2500. Answer multiplied by 2500. So that gives us 2500 multiplied by 5.556, this gives us 13889, this is 13889 and plus the integration of this will be 600 t raised to the power 3 divided by 3 and from 0 to 5, this is 2500 into v2, this is 2500 into v2. And 600 divided by 3 is 200. This is 200. And if you put these limits, so that will be 5 to the power 3 minus 0 to the power 3. So 5 to the power 3 minus 0, we will have this. So this is, if we divide both sides of equation by 2500, so we will get that velocity of the car after t equals to 5 seconds. So this is 13889 plus 200 into 5 to the power 3 divided by 2500. So this is 15.56. So velocity V2 is 
15.56 meter per second and if you want to convert it into kilometer per hour this v2 is 15.56 meter per second multiply by so one one kilometer is thousand meters and one hour is 3600 seconds so 15.56 15.56 multiply by 3600 divided by 1000 this gives us 56.02 so velocity v2 is 56.02 kilometer per hour so this is after 5 seconds the velocity of the car is 56.02 kilometer per hour so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet